It takes both brains and brawn when you're out at the sea. Aye, it's not an easy job, the sailor's life. Hey, Numa Numa, welcome to stream. I gotta know what your team is looking like. Uh, Dialga, gonna Gabite soon to be a Garchomp, Lopunny, Torterra, Frostlass, Staraptor. Recently traded out Drapion for the thing. Dialga. Bye, Feebas. Imagine having a male Feebas. That sucks. Gastrodon? I think with the Draco Plate, Dragon Claw might actually do more than EQ here. It might be like the same amount of damage. Ooh, that did a lot. Well, I hope EQ does like 5% more. Because I'm going for it. Easy. Draco Plate did not make as much of a difference as I thought it would. Or it was they do like about the same amount of damage, but I just got weird rolls. Yo, Low Punny at 100 physical attack. Let's go. I did not expect Low Punny's second lowest stat to be its attack stat. Why are Low Punny's defenses so high? Healing Wish. That's actually super neat. Healing Wish is like. That's, that's a really cool move. Not gonna lie. But I think purely because I love Agility Baton Pass, I'm gonna pass on it. I think. You know what a part of me is thinking now? What if I, like, Agility Baton Pass into Dialga to defeat Cynthia? Because I'm thinking, what does Cynthia have that can hit me? Lucario and Garchomp, right? I guess Gastrodon too, so maybe that's not a good idea. If I got rid of Roar of Time for a move that doesn't recharge, like Dragon Pulse, maybe I could Oko Garchomp with Dragon Pulse from Dialga and be able to do it, but nah, forget it. Hey, I'm really low on health. Let me switch into... I know that this is a fighting type I'm going up against, but hear me out. What if I were to hit it with Roar of Time? Oh, you know what we'll do to sweep Cynthia? I'll just get the ancient power boosts on Dialga like three times in a row. Just get to plus three in all stats. Behold my might! Later, loser. Hey. Three levels away from Gabite's stats actually being good. Glub, glub, glub. Alright, I need some healing, please. Let's get into Sunny Shore real quick. We'll go back and fight those other trainers on the beach. Oh, it's Flint! Yo, fellow trainer. There's no masking that aura of serious toughness around you and your Pokemon. Oops, sorry, I should introduce myself. The name's Flint, I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. I just had this idea, maybe you can pull it off. It's about the city's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there's been so few good challengers worth his time. He's so bored that he spends all his time renovating the gym. And then the blackout happened. That sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. Dude, I love Voltner. Voltner is the best gym leader. The idea of a gym leader who is like, they're just like, I'm too good. And everyone is boring me. So he's like, maybe I'll just go try and fight the Elite Four and let Cynthia's Garchomp curb stop my, uh, my Luxray again. I love it. Also, Luxray is an awesome Pokemon. And also, Volkner's design, uh, design words is great. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, rip Electivire, though. It's fine. He's got the best electric type. Artillery. Can't beat it. Do I even really want to fight these people? I mean, let's do it. Listen, listen. Can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? Uh, I can beat the stuffing out of you, if you'd like. It's a Remoraid! Why do all these people have Remoraids? So many of them. Goodbye. 
Nailed it. I defeated Holly. You're so tough, I'm stunned. Yeah, and you're a loser. If I stare at the water's surface for too long, I begin to forget what I was doing in the first place. All right, weird. A little weird, not gonna lie. Fisher Cole. Chat, isn't Jasmine here, by the way, from Gen 2? Doesn't Jasmine uh, give us Waterfall? I vaguely remember that. I do love it when the Pokemon games have, like, one of the past gym leaders or something show up. I think this might have Ice Fang. You know what? I'm just gonna, like, save myself some time and go into Yuki. They all have Remoraid because it looks like a gun and everyone loves guns. You know what? It's a fair point. I hadn't considered it like that, honestly. This Gyarados really has Rain Dance, huh? Man, imagine how awful it must be in the Pokemon universe that there are Pokemon that can control the weather like this. Like, imagine someone, like, someone just didn't like you and they had a Water-type Pokemon and then, like, they knew you were having a party outside or something or you were, like, out in a, at, like, a... You were, like, having a big game of soccer or football or something and then the person didn't like you, so they were, like, Blastoise, use Rain Dance. And then they just ruined your day by making it rain. That would be terrible. Dude, I love that this thing learns Thunderbolt. It is so nice having an electric move, finally. Hey, level 50. All of my Pokemon are stronger than Volkner's Ace, except for my Gabite and my Dialga, which are a Gabite and a Dialga. Dude, there are so many Remoraid at this part of the ocean. It must be migrating season or something. Worst job ever would be Weatherman? Yeah, dude, seriously. It would be terrible. We still got about a half an hour in stream. I think we're gonna beat the Sunny Shore Gym today. I don't know how, but I lost. I'm in the middle of fishing, but okay, I'll be happy to sink you. Saying that you're gonna sink me implies that you're going to throw me into the ocean and drown me. Brett, kind of rude, not gonna lie. Ah, yes, Magikarp. This certainly won't be a waste of my time. I don't think I'm gonna bother fighting all these other fishermen. There are like two or three more fishermen, and I honestly just can't be bothered. I'm getting bored. <laughs> In today's weather, some kid summoned a Kyogre on Route 221. Yeah, exactly. Finneon! I do love Finneon's cry. What? Got him. Dude, this guy sucks. This guy's... This guy's Pokemon lineup is awful. You need to get some evolutions going, dude. I beat Brett. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go grab whatever this item is that I didn't get right here. And then I think we just go back to Sunny Shore. Or no, we go to Veilstone to get that thing. Oh, a jar of honey. How nice. Whoop. Veilstone. I want a silk scarf for my low honey. Hello. You said it was up here near the meteorites? Is it like a Pokeball, or do I need to talk to someone? Hey, you got a Silk Scarf? Tick tock, tick tock, it swings its pendulum at the same interval. How beautiful, I'll give this to you. Oh, it's a metronome, that's not what I'm looking for. Do you let a Pokemon hold a metronome? A metronome? Anytime the Pokemon uses the same move, the metronome boosts the power of that move. That's not how that works. You have to use the same move over and over again, and I don't even think it gives a very good boost. Serious meteorite that fell from the stars. I don't know where the thing is. Is it like a hidden item somewhere? Do I need to use the dowsing machine or whatever? 
I'm gonna be real with you, chat. I don't know how to use the dowsing machine in this game. Almost to 40,000 steps, how about that? Uh-huh. Alright, cool, cool. No idea what that means. Upper corner? Like, way up here, past the meteorites? I'm just spamming the A button. No, I'm not trying to talk to you, I'm sorry. Upper right corner, under Galactic HQ. Define under. Oh, hey, he's right here. No, it's PP up. Is it a, it's a hidden item? Do I need to use the dowsing machine? I can't tell if I'm using the dowsing machine right or not. I honestly have no idea. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. I don't know if that was a hidden item or not. It might have just been hidden by the tree, but the dowsing machine was definitely not helping me. Thanks, chat. Didn't in Platinum, didn't they make the Poketch have a forward and backward button? But I guess in this game, again, they were like, oh, no, we can't use anything from Platinum, so now it's only a forward button. Which is stupid. <laughs> Oh, I love the Sunny Shore music. Major nostalgia. All right, you no longer need friendship thing. Please take this uh, silk scarf. There you go. Make those headbutts a little bit stronger. Man, I wish Return was still in the game. Why do I feel like you're supposed to bring Deoxys to the meteorites? Because that's how you change Deoxys' form in this game. Or at least how you changed it in the OG game. There are four of them, one for each of Deoxys' forms. You sell full restores yet? Nope. Not yet. But you know what I do want is some super repels. 30 should get us through the rest of the game. Thank you. So I think we need to go to the lighthouse to talk to Volkner, and then we go to Volkner's gym. And then we should be able to finish Sunny Soar's gym today. Should be being the operative word. Where's the Munchlax rock? I love the Munchlax rock. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it looks like Snorlax in this game. It looks more like uh, Munchlax in the older games. Gym leader uses too much electricity. He needs to think about the city's power needs too. Guy, ah, he's bored. He can do what he wants. He's the fourth Hokage. Oh no, I think I'm about to sneeze. Am I? Maybe not. The Vista Lighthouse represents safety and protection to us sailors. Okay. I love how far away you can see with the binoculars. I'm gonna go that far away with my Pokemon one day. So, you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm gonna challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Yo, I love Boltner. Love him. Great gym leader. Took a look through the binoculars. Ooh, baby, there it is. Pokemon League, ready and waiting for us. We'll be going through the Pokemon League next stream. Next Brilliant Diamond stream, whenever that is. Come on, Gabite. Let's go get you those two or three level ups you need to become a guard chomp. You're basically just gonna sweep through this gym. Except for Octillery, that electric type is a little too much for you. Yeah, it is Jasmine down there. Hey, Flint. Yo, hiya, he's finally come back. He seems to be feeling upbeat too. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, hotshot. Give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. 
All right, Hotshot, I'll be waiting in the Pokemon League. Hey, stop saying Hotshot, loser. You only have two fire types out of five Pokemon. We're here. I like Voltner's gym. He does have a Makoto wannabe leading the charge here, which is weird. Can you make it to the gym leader? Are you sure now? I'm gonna destroy you. I will leave you crying, small child. It's a squirrel! Squirrel in my pants! You guys remember that? The famous uh, SIMP Phineas and Ferb song? Alright, well, nice. Imagine someone in here just has a Zorora randomly. Yeah, that'd be pretty wild, not gonna lie. Man, Staraptor's defense, special attack, and special defense are all, like, really close to each other, huh? It's all about speed and attack. It's literally the Barry Allen, like, I am speed. That's, that's Staraptor. Apparently it's Haru from Persona 5's birthday today. Yo, Haru's birthday is December 5th? Nice. December birthday's for the win. Haru's great. Second best girl. She deserves it. I don't know if we're going to have any double battles in here, by the way, but I'm going to go ahead and put my Dialga here in case we do. How's this work? The blue... Oh, I thought the blue moved two. Blue and green only move one. Maybe red. There's a red one that moves two. I don't know the difference between the blue and the green ones. Oh, the difference, they actually have the arrows on them. The blue goes a different direction than the green does. Okay. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here, to learn the best battle techniques around. Yeah, toughest gym in Sinnoh. I've seen, like, four five-year-olds so far being in it. Kind of weird, not gonna lie. It's a mime! That's not an electric type. You know what it is, though? Weak to Iron Tail. I just have to hope it doesn't dazzlingly leave me to death. No! Of all the times, so many Iron Tails that I hit that didn't even really matter. Now I miss when it does, and now Reflect is up. I hate everything. No! Energy Ball? Do you not have a Fairy move? All right. Oh for 3. That's cool. Love that. Making up for all those hits I got in Mount Coronet. I would have rather have missed in Mount Coronet. I have a Dialga. This is four times resisted. Nice. The only reason that did more than five damage is because I'm minus, uh, or no, I'm not minus spit F nature. Wolfen said that my spit F IVs must be stupid low. Bye, Mr. Mime. Sun Phoenix 07, thank you so much for subbing a tier one for three months. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for the support. Hey, man, look at those stat gains. Your speed is so bad. Can I buy, like, a choice scarf somewhere? I should go get a choice scarf for this thing instead of an adamant orb. You're tough. I am. I am tough. Thank you for noticing. Whoops. Meant to go to the bag. I plan on using... Kisara for basically the whole gym, unless I run into something Kisara doesn't want to fight. What am I doing? I hate all of these exclamation marks. I hate notifications like this in games that you can't easily get rid of. They get annoying. There we go. Medicine is what I wanted. Heal me up. Bow, bow, bow. Hey, a rocker. What you got, dude? I want to win. I channel that desire through my guitar. I want to win. That desire makes my Pokemon a star. Sure, dude. Whatever you say. Prepare to get EQ'd to death. Jerry! Did he kiss his Pokeball before throwing it out? That can't be sanitary. I still need to put capsules on Dialga's thing. We should do that before we get to Voltner. 
EQ. Nice. Man, I'm not even a guard chomp yet. <laughs> oh, baby, two more levels to go. I thought we were already at 46. We might not get Garchomp until after we beat Volkner, which would be unfortunate. We couldn't win no encores for us. But you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles.